In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these easy lockers to put in your school for your dolls. Start by taking regular foam board and cut out your pieces. I like using foam board because it's nice and sturdy and each sheet is about a dollar. But you can also use cardboard or you can stack recycled paper board. You'll need two sides, a back, a front door, a top and a bottom, and you can also add a shelf or two inside the locker. When I cut foam board, I like to use my Foamworks tools because they give me a nice, clean edge. You can also use a fresh blade on an X-Acto knife. Another way to create your doll lockers is by using something you already have on hand, like tissue boxes. Once you have empty tissue boxes, you can paint them or cover them in scrapbook paper, cut out one side for the door, and decorate them. This option isn't as strong as foam board, so you'll need to add extra support on the inside. I like to spray paint all of my foam board pieces before gluing them together, and for some of the smaller pieces, I stick them on toothpicks so I can give all the sides an even coat. For the locker walls, I decided to only paint the outside, so when I flip it over, you'll notice there's nothing on the inside. This is because I'm going to cover these pieces with scrapbook paper so each doll has a unique locker on the inside. They're all going to look different. For one locker, you'll need one piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper to cover all three sides. Next, you'll apply the hot glue on the open edge of the back wall and you'll press the side wall straight up against it. It's best to cover your surface with a parchment paper, that way if any hot glue leaks out, it's easy to peel it up. Otherwise, your locker might stick to your table. Next, apply glue to the other open edge of the back wall and press the left side right up against it. Hold it in place until the hot glue is dried, and if any hot glue has seeped out the sides, wait until it's cooled off and you can rub it off. You can add the inside shelf wherever you want in the locker, high, low, in the middle, and you can add more than one. Then apply the hot glue on the open edge of the bottom of the locker, and then stick the bottom on. Stand your locker up, apply the hot glue on the open edge of the foam board, and then place your top on. Adding legs to your locker is totally optional, especially if you want to stack your lockers. But if you do want them freestanding, legs tend to look a little bit better and it gives them a little bit of height. Instead of just giving them four legs, I'm also adding supports on the side and back. That way the legs don't just break off during play. For the locker doors to open and close, I'm using these acrylic craft hinges. You can find these at the craft stores, usually in the model plane section. They're inexpensive and I've painted them to coordinate with my lockers. Hot glue just peels right off of these, so it's best to use a super glue. Carefully place one side of the hinge on the outside of the locker door and space them evenly apart. So I have them about two inches from the top and two inches from the bottom. And remember, when using super glue, don't touch it with your fingers. So I'm using something to press it to the door without actually having to touch the super glue that seeps out the side. Now let it completely dry before you move it. And once it's dry, you can flip your locker door over, bring your locker down on the side. Now you're going to flip your hinges in and apply the super glue. The hinges are going to be on the inside of the locker. And then the ones that you've already glued on are going to be on the outside of the locker door. So lay it down flat on your surface. Make sure you line it up inside the top and the bottom of the locker so when you close it, it's not hanging off. Again, let it completely dry and you'll have a working locker door. If you don't have these hinges, you can use a method I've shown you in the past by using duct tape. Place it on the inside of the locker door and the locker and it will work just like these hinges. Now cut a scrap piece of foam board or 
craft foam for your locker handle. To add hooks for the inside of your lockers, you can take these adult size hangers and break off the little hooks. Use super glue to attach two together and then you can glue it to the inside of your locker. You can place it on the back wall or on the side walls. For the locker vents, cut strips of paper the same size, four for each locker, two vents on the top and two vents on the bottom. Again, I'm using coordinating colors to make the lockers pop. To attach them, I just used a glue stick. Now that you're done, there are several ways you can set up your lockers. You can line them up in a row without adding the bottom. And I love how the insides of the lockers are so different from each other. Or you can stack the lockers one on top of the other. But for this look, you might need to add more than four lockers you might need an entire wall. I decided to add the base to the lockers and line them up in a row. I can always add more lockers later and stack them on top without a base. Now your dolls can jazz up their lockers any way they want with pictures from home, stickers, mirrors, or even fun lights. How will you decorate your doll locker? Please give us a thumbs up Share this video with your friends and subscribe to become an AGI crafter. We want to give a shout out to everyone that asked for a doll locker. Thanks for the request and just craft it.